Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bugisto. In today's video tutorial, we'll be seeing how to add swatches to a configurable product in Bugisto. So initially, we'll be seeing how to add an attribute and how to set its property that is used to create configurable product as yes. Then we'll see how to assign the created attribute to the attribute family. And then we'll be creating the configurable product using the attribute that we had already created. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So these swatch types can be of drop down, uh, color swatch, image swatch, text swatch. So we'll be seeing all of these uh, ones starting from the drop down. We'll see then the color swatch image swatch and the text swatch after we have created the configurable product using the respective attribute uh, for which we have set the property as used to create configurable product as yes while we had created that particular attribute from the admin backend panel there so let's log into the admin backend panel by entering the email password and let's log into the buggy store backend panel by tapping on the sign in button thereafter now after the successful uh, login here the very first thing that we want to do is we want to create an attribute so let's go to the attributes here by navigating to this se section and then attributes so here we can find the complete list of attributes that we have already created and the ones by default as well so now let's tap here on the add attribute button and we'll be on the add attribute uh, section now let's create an attribute with the name choose color and uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be choosing the attribute type as select so kindly note that if you're creating an uh, attribute for a configurable product then the attribute type should always be the select type so remember that so here after selecting the uh, attribute type uh, just give me a second for that uh, let me cancel this out Now what we'll be doing is we'll be scrolling down and we'll be setting up the label here. Let's set the label as choose color that would be visible to the customer to the admin in the admin backend panel and for the customer store local we'll set up the label as per the requirement there for your French, Dutch, Turkish and Espanol you can uh, convert the uh, choose color label into that particular language and you can paste it up as per the requirement there then uh, here uh, before I create the options uh, for the choose color attribute there uh, let me show you what we need to do is we need to go to the configuration sec section and here we need to select use to create configurable product as yes so we have to choose use to create configurable product as yes and now let's come down and here under the options you can see that we have this swatch type so what we'll be doing is we'll be choosing uh, the drop down first then we'll choose the color swatch image swatch and the text swatch and we'll see how this thing would work on the front end as well and how in the back end we can configure the color swatch image swatch and the text swatch as well so for now first of all let's set it as drop down and let's create the values here let's set it as red and red for the english locale red and let's set it to green and green so what i've done is i've chosen the attribute the code as choose color the attribute type is select for the configurable product the uh, product attribute label would be choose color the uh, swatch type for now would be drop down and we are having basically uh, two different values one is the red and the green option values for the choose color there and under the configuration i have set the use in red navigation sorry the use to create configurable product as yes now after setting this up, I'll just set the position for the option values and then I'll tap here on the save attribute button. The attribute would be saved. Choose color has been saved as you can see. Now I'll go to attribute family and I'll select the particular attribute family that I'm going to use to create the configurable product and I'll basically edit that up and I'll go to the general section and I'll tap here on the add attribute and I'll choose the uh, choose color product attribute that we had created and uh, after that what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be saving the particular family here 
Now after assigning the product attribute to the particular family, now what we'll be doing is we'll be navigating to product section and we'll be creating a configurable product. To create a configurable product, I'll tap here on the add product button. Here I'll choose the product type as configurable. I'll set the SKU and I'll tap here on the save product button. Now here if I scroll down, now you can see that the choose color that we had uh, created the product attribute for the configurable product is visible here and the rest of the ones are also visible that are set to be used for the configurable product there so for now i'll be removing the first one and the second one and we'll just keep the choose color that is red and green there and thereafter i'll tap here on the save product button now after tapping on the save product button it would take a few moments there for the products to be created because uh, two different uh, simple products would be created that is the red product and the green product so you can see that the product creation has been successful now let's set the name for the uh, particular configurable product let's set it as configurable uh, product i'll set it as new featured visible guest checkout status uh, then i'll go to description i'll set the test description i'll paste it here then here you can see under the variation now let me choose the category as mix uh, mix category there and let me add an image here for this uh, configurable product that i'm going to create let me scroll down and let me choose an image here for the main product there here i've chosen the category uh, here are the variations so red color so this will be the product name green color uh, we can add the images uh, for the uh, for the variations as well for the two variations uh, that is the red color and the green color let's tap here on the add image let me add a red image uh, for this i'll just select a red t-shirt for the green one i'll select a green t-shirt then uh, here we'll be setting the quantity of the products let me set it as 12 for this one and 12 for this one uh, let's set the price here as 15 for this and let's set uh, the price as 20 for this weight as one weight as one the status is enabled and after setting this up let's tap here on the save product button now the product would be saved with the two variations there for the red and the green color and the particular product or the configurable product will now be visible to us on the front end now here you can see that the configurable product has been created and here we are having the two variations that is the red color and the green color itself now if i go to the mixed category here and the storefront i'll be able to see the configurable product visible here here as low as 15 dollars starting from 15 dollars as you can see here so if i tap here and i open the particular one here I can see the base image for the uh, configurable product and here we can see we have the choose color here we have the choose color product attribute that we had created and here we have an option to choose the option like red and the red color is chosen the green and the green color is chosen and for the red you can see it's $15 for the green one it's $20 as we had set in the configurable product settings there now uh, let me take you back to the attribute that we had initially created that was the choose color that was having the type as select let's edit it up after editing it up if i scroll down so i'm just giving an overview how the color swatches would be visible at the front end to the customers and what are the configuration settings for the same so initially we had chosen the swatch type as drop down so we had a drop down here at the storefront for the configurable product and now if we choose the uh, swatch type here as color swatch for example here you can see that you can uh, select the color for the swatches there for the uh, red option and the, for the green option here as per your own requirement there and after choosing the swatch type as color swatch uh, you have to select the swatch uh, color palette color there for your different options that you have and then tap on the save attribute button after saving the attribute now if i go to the front end you can see initially we had the drop down now if i refresh this configurable product here 
you will see that we'll be having the color swatch itself so here you can see that it's showing it as as low as 15 dollars uh, there so if i tap on the red the red t-shirt would appear it's for 15 dollars and uh, if i tap on the green one it's for 20 dollars and the green t-shirt is just paid to the customer at the front end so that's how the color swatch appears on the configurable product there now if i go back to the choose color uh, attribute that we had created and i edit it up i come down uh, back to this uh, option section where we have this swatch type and here i choose it as image swatch then i can choose the images uh, for the different options that we have for example we have the red color and the green color so for example for the red color i can tap here on the choose file and i can choose a, a image file of the product that's in the red color so let me go ahead and let me choose a red t-shirt and for the green one uh, i'll go ahead and i'll choose the green t-shirt and then i'll tap here on the save attribute button so this is the image swatch and that's how we can add the images for the swatch there now if i refresh this particular configurable product on the front end you'll see that the image swatch would be visible so here you can see that the image swatch is visible we have a red t-shirt we have a green t-shirt if i tap on the red one the red t-shirt would be popped up the price would be changed if i tap on the green one the price would be changed and the green t-shirt would be popped up there so this was about the uh, attribute that we were checking out uh, that's the uh, choose color attribute and this was the drop down type color swatch image swatch and then lastly we have the text swatch if you choose it as text swatch then you have to do nothing there and you have to just set the uh, option values there for the admin and for the particular store locale that you have and then tap on the save attribute button after saving that attribute if i refresh the page now from the image uh, swatch you'll see that we'll be having a text swatch for the red and the green color similarly you can uh, also create choose size here and you can have the sizes as in the swatch type as color swatch image swatch text swatch as per your own requirement there so if i tap on the red the red t-shirt would be popped up and the price of the red would be visible if i tap on the green one the green t-shirt would be popped up in the image and the price would be displayed accordingly there so yes that was much about these uh, color swatches that can be applied to the configurable product as i've shown you so i've shown you the drop down one the color swatch image swatch the text swatch uh, for one of the for this demonstration i've just used one product attribute that was the choose color having two options that were the red and the green color and i showed you how the color swatch image swatch and the text swatch would appear on the product page itself as per the requirement there itself so yes that was much about how to add the swatch to a configurable product in buggy store if you find this particular video then helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and if you still have any questions queries or uh, you have any suggestions then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of buggystore.com or you can raise a ticket at buggystore.uvdesk.com as well and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead